How do you do? How do you do? How you feeling? All warm and fuzzy? Hey, I got an idea! Wow, man! So, here's what I got. I got Founders Backwoods Bastard. Now, this one is from last year. This is last year's model, but I think it'll work, man! So, I'm gonna pop this bad boy, pour it into one of my handy dandy brandy snifters. Just a small amount, man, because this is like rare, buddy. Uh, and I just bought this year's model, the 2013 Founders Backwoods Bastard, which I'm sure most of you know is our dirty bastard. Hey, he's just a whiskey barrel. So, let me pour a little bit of this year's model, and I wanted to see if there was any differences. So, from appearance, can you see anything? Oh my, I got a little more head out of the new one. I don't know if that means anything or not. So I'm going to read a tad from their website here. Expect a, expect, dip, 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 dip. expect lovely warm smells of single malt scotch. Okay, Burp, uh, uh, single malt, son of a bitch, I can't speak. Single malt scotch, oaky bourbon barrels, smoked sweet caramel, and roasted malts, a bit of earthy spice, and a scintilla, just this, 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 this much, man, uh, of dark fruit. It's a kickback sipper made to excite the palate. 10.2% 50 IBU. So let's, let's compare. Let's compare smellers, huh? Wow. Uh, even the aromas, even the aromas are rich and decadent. Um, huge caramel. You know, like a, a burnt sugar, like a dark burnt sugar. Oh, and then you certainly get a little vanilla, uh, some some kind of smoky oak. I poured these in the exact same glass for a reason, and this may be odd. I'm getting aromas. Um, the aromas feel bigger from the year older version. Wow, that's kind of weird, huh? I noticed this one. I, I poured a, 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 a had a, had more of a sustainable head on it, but the older model, the aromas are a tad heat, uh, or a tad bigger, and I poured them both in the exact same glass. So let's get to some drinking. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. I love this beer. I've always loved this beer. It was one of the first of the style that I'd had. But I just, it's its one of the, the best whiskey barrel beers out there. And it's also one of the most consistent. It's just good all the time. You know, there, there may be some small, subtle differences from year to year. But, I mean, but it's just beautiful every year. Uh, yeah, again, a lot of the same on the aromas. Uh, um, I'm tasting some some big dark sugar, uh, you know, some oaky, as they uh, um, describe here. I am really having trouble speaking today. Uh, some vanilla. You do taste roasted malts, maybe a hint of peat. Uh, yeah, about the same here. Um, the only difference, I, I tell you, I am noticing... And it, it's very minute. It's very minute. I mean, it's tiny, man. The, the biggest difference I can tell, because I wanted to see if there was a difference between, you know, having let one sit a year. And I wasn't worried about it going bad. A beer like this isn't going to go bad. I mean, I'd have to intentionally let it go bad to make it go bad. I mean, I'd have to put it in direct sunlight, you know, for, you know, I'd, uh, uh, you know, may go through extreme temperatures. It's ridiculous to think it go bad. It's not going to after a year. But there are some subtle differences. The flavors are almost the same, but here's the biggest difference. The carbonation on the newer one, this one here, the younger model, is a little crisper. Is that better? Well, that's really up to you to decide because because that carbonation has mellowed out. It has allowed 
all the flavors to really, uh, you know, to really emerge and, and become bigger. So uh, you've got the carbonation here on one end, which is much cleaner, much crisper. Here I feel much less carbonation. I mean, it's not flat by any means, don't get me wrong. But because of that, because the carbonation isn't getting in the way, you feel the bigger flavors, the caramel, uh, the smoky, the bourbon, the vanilla, uh, the single malt scotch. You feel all those flavors a little bigger. So I'm not even sure which one I like better. I don't even think I do because they're both great in different ways. Uh, the flavors are basically the same, but there are some subtle differences that make it interesting to hang on to a beer like this for a year to see what's going to change. It does feel even richer, if that's even possible, because it's a very rich decadent beer anyway, but after a year, it even feels richer. I almost, <laughs> I wanted to try this. I don't have another one. for like This beer, I would love to take one and let it sit for five years and see what happens. Maybe nothing, maybe make it worse. I don't know, but I'm telling you, after a year's time, the flavors even uh, are, are amplified. That's the word I've been looking for that I couldn't get my head to get out, amplified. The flavors are there here in this, this new one. The carbonation is less than the year old model, but all the flavors are amplified. Everything is just kicked up a little bit of a notch. You know? It just feels just, just a little bit richer, a little bit more decadent. But both versions are great. I love Founders. I love the Backwood Bastard. Um, you may call me a Backwood Bastard. Anyways, I digress. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to finish this damn beer.